Oh, look who's come crawling back to apologize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and here I thought I was gonna die thinking my little brother's a dick. Hey. Okay, you know, let, I want to see you redeem yourself. Let's hear it. Don't joke about that. Come on, the doctor says you're doing better, right? I mean, Wayne, it's, you know, stage four. At this point, the only thing keeping me sane is all the pharmaceutical grade puff. <laughs> that sucks sometimes, bro. Do you have any idea how much it sucks to get the munchies only to have your only option be like Vitamil? <laughs> hey, silver lining. You don't have to hide it from mom and dad. And who said cancer sucks? Yeah. I'd say that's a pretty decent argument for that. Yeah, okay. So, why did you decide to disrupt my absolutely necessary beauty rest then? You got me. Yeah? I'm sorry. Dude, that's it. That's all I care. That's all you got in that big pre-med brain of yours? Wayne. Damn. Come on, man. They fucking emotionally neutered you. I'm sorry. Jeez. You know I've never been good with words. I'm genuinely sorry. I know, Wayne. It's just... That's not gonna cut it. But thanks for stopping by and everything, but... You'd see your way out. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me know if you need anything. Text me and I'll be right back. Okay, wait. Bye. Bye. Stop. There's a way you can make it up to me. And what would that be? Uh, you could fly down next to your sick and dying older sister and keep her company. <laughs> yeah. We're 20. I'm not going to snuggle with you. Oh, uh, Wayne. Okay. I just wanted to enjoy my shitty brother's company. It's fine. Okay. That's good. I came prepared for another option. You know, you could tell me a story. You know, the ones used to tell me when you were little. <laughs> I haven't done that since we were kids. That's exactly what I want to hear, Wayne. Come on, prove to me you still got that artistic side to you and you're not all textbook. You know, need I pull the dying older sister card? She's got cancer. She's gonna die fine. any She's day fine. now. Jesus, Good stop. Team. Stop. Down. Stop. So morbid. Okay. So we start with this girl. She's a lot like you. Fashionable. Loves a good cup of coffee. Hates. Ooh, good so far, good so far. But can you make it so that she only has one outfit? Like a really iconic outfit, like in the cartoons. Oh, okay, sure. Cool. Um, as I was saying, this girl. Uh, similar to you, Coffee doesn't like Catch on the Ride, who always wore this bright yellow outfit. There it is. <laughs> Some say it may have let her channel her powers back. Well, did it? <sighs> did what? Did, well, did the outfit actually help her channel her powers better? I don't know, Mia, sure. Oh, it could. Okay. I'm just like, looking for consistency it's, here, man. I don't know what... Let's, <laughs> why do we have to... Oh, Alright, okay, 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 I hear you. Okay. She had this power that was so destructive that it had to be contained in this bright yellow outfit. Like you, she kicked all kinds of ass in karate. So much so that with her wicked karate skills and ability, she started working as a protector for her city. Oh, uh, what city? Um... Soma. Soma? Oh, I see. like Latin for body and sh Okay, no, get that stem shit out of here, man. Okay, be creative. What about, like, Gotham? You can't do Gotham. <laughs> First of all, it's made up. Second of all, why would you want to defend Gotham anyway? They already have Batman. But we're talking about a girl with powers, okay? And she could kick his emo rich boy ass. Okay. okay fine. Gotham. So No, you're right. Okay, got them. Out. I'll admit, it doesn't go well with their style. Just name off cities then. Uh, New York. Mm, rats and garbage. I think I'll pass. Damn harsh. Um, LA. Influencers. I'd get a sunburn. I'll pass. Fair. Uh, San Francisco. Just skip California. Duly noted. Um, Oklahoma City. Where'd you get Oklahoma City? I don't know. It's <laughs> unique. Wait, okay. Nothing happens there. Nothing happens there. How is there a possible zero? Uh, Seattle? Perfect. Okay. 
So our hero works for the Emerald City of Seattle. There she munched on cream cheese hot dogs, drank the most pristine overpriced coffee, jammed out to all the best beats, mourned the loss of the pink elephant car wash occasionally. But most importantly, defended it from Pink Robots! <coughs> oh, hold on. Dude, easy. You okay? Can you any water? Something a little stronger. This one? Yeah. Mmm. <coughs> it's delicious. Really? You should really try some sometime. It's just like the Flintstone gummies. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it. Should I start with fentanyl patches or jump straight to morphine? <coughs> Stop me. Okay, okay, <coughs> okay. You know, it's just that this room really ain't big enough for two insanely beautiful, hilarious people. You know, it's a good thing mom popped you out ugly and hideously and funny. <coughs> You may continue, Squire. Okay. So, Pink Robots came in droves during the time that she was protector of the Emerald City of Seattle. Okay, I think it's time for a fight sequence. Right up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me set the tone. Let me set the tone. Close your eyes. What? Close your eyes. Theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. Yeah, that was awesome. So, she mopped the floor with the pink robots. So much so, that after all yeah. these years, the leader finally decided to show himself. Oh, he's so done for. Well, uh, this leader is not quite like the other pink robots. He's huge. I mean, like, ginormous. Like David and Goliath. Except, of course, our David could kick Batman's ass. True. So there they are. A rock in a hard place. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object, like in an old western, facing each other off, getting ready for one to make the first move, when... Oh, another one. How sibling would I be if I didn't know that you like the fight scenes best? You spoil me.
about. Okay, badass. Mm -hmm. She wiped the floor with him, completely annihilating him and bringing an end to the pink robot's reign of terror over the Emerald City of Seattle. Yeah, I guess life's just pretty dope when you're shredded and got superpowers. Mm, well, it wasn't only the kick-ass powers and karate skills that helped her beat them. Well, it had to be the chance to eat another delicious cream cheese filled hot dog. Then. No, no, that wasn't it either. It was the knowledge that with every battle that she fought, every time she came back and persevered against the big robots, she never gave up and she became an inspiration and hope for others. Including her brother. Goofy. Hey, come on. I thought for an emotionally neutered pre-med student, I thought it was alright. No, oh, it was. It was pretty good. I hear you, Wayne. Don't worry. I won't let them beat me. I'm gonna miss you. I know. I am pretty missable. Hey, you know that offer to snuggle is still up if you don't. <laughs> God, what did I tell you? Hey, I didn't even make the joke that time. I'll consider you being a company, but first I got some dickhead little brother things to do. So, I'll, I'll let you know. No, I get it. Go read your books and such. It's all right. I'll let her know when I'm a super cool one. Yeah. Alright, get out of here, man. Don't <laughs> let me suffer and wallow in peace. It's rude. You forgive it. Okay. Just glad you know I can still deliver. I love you, Neil. I love you too. Good night.